my channel. My name is Jayla Mitchell, also known as Natural Rain, and I am currently getting ready for my birthday photo shoot. And I'm sorry for this janky setup if it looks janky, but y'all, I'm kind of running out of time because we want to shoot outside, you know, during golden hour. It's like five and I have to go ahead and wand curl all of this. I'm kind of nervous. I don't think I've wand curled it since I've been like completely natural. If I have, it's been a really long time. I blow dried my hair already, y'all, so I'm starting on blow dried hair. I'm just gonna use this wand curl right here, Infinity Pro kind hair, whatever. And of course, I'm gonna use the heat protectant. This is the one I'm gonna use. And hopefully it doesn't take me all year and hopefully I'm done before the sun goes down. I've never used this before. So I'm trying to get everything squared away. So I guess I'm gonna put it on 360. I'm kind of scared of 400. So I'm gonna put it on 360 and see what that does or doesn't do. This thing get hot super fast. It got hot before I could even put my hair up at all. So I think the game plan is to take smaller sections so that I don't have to put as much heat on my hair overall. So I'm gonna brush out the hair. Being in a rush and doing your hair just don't mix. Take it from me. You can definitely use a glove if you need to. I'm gonna put the heat protectant on. And then I guess I'm gonna curl. Oh gosh, it's been a while since I did this. They're just long. One, two, three. Hey, hey, -oh. I probably should have left it on for longer than that. <laughs> oh gosh, probably should have. I'm gonna redo that. Maybe I will put it on 400 and just leave it on just a little longer. Okay, yeah, that's looking good. So, just gonna hold it. I think I left it on there for maybe like five seconds. Not just kinda, while it's hot, push it to my head. I make sure to put heat protectant on each section, in case y'all are wondering. So I'm just gonna continue to do the same thing all over, but this is what this is looking like, the parts that I've curled so far. I'm really wild for even filming this when I know I ain't got much time, but I know I don't do this often, so I had to give y'all the content y'all deserve. I'm gonna come back when more of it is done, but I just got these three pieces by her. So really all I'm doing is trying to take, I guess a medium to small size section so something like this right here, add about one or two sprays of heat protectant, rub it through the hair, then brush it. You really don't want to wand curl your hair if it's not detangled, like that's just a bad idea. Then I take the wand and I just wrap. And then I leave it on for about five seconds. And then I let it go. And these are the curls that I have so far. They doing that thing, but I really don't know how it's gonna look until I take it apart. I don't wanna just wear it like this. I wanna separate the hair. But so far, I think I've been doing this for like, maybe like 10 to 15 minutes right now. So right now it's not taking a long time. I used to do this style all the time when I was transitioning. Honestly, I think this is taking me maybe about 45 minutes, if that. Like, I'll probably be done within 45 minutes. So that's really not bad at all. We've got a curry girl. I like this heat protectant because I feel like it gives my hair shine while also protecting my hair. But, and without making it greasy looking, I do not like when it be looking greasy. That's ugly. And 
And when I get to the front, I'm trying to curl closer to my head because you're actually gonna be able to see it in the front. I'm no expert, just letting y'all know. But I think the curls is coming out cute. This is what my hair is looking like without separating, but <laughs> y'all know I'm gonna separate. But this is what it's looking like. I like the way the curls is looking. But you already know what we got to do. Separation time. I'm just trying to separate the curls where they already naturally want to separate. Nothing too crazy. The thing is, it's really cute. And I'm pretty sure I'm gonna sweat it out today because of the photo shoot and going outside and all that. But I am gonna spray some hairspray on it when I got it separated like I want it. And y'all, I don't mind destroying the curls because it gives me volume and I'm a sucker for volume. Like I can't get enough. And my hair doesn't hold curls very well, like that aren't my natural curls because I feel like I've said this before, but you train your hair, you know? So my hair is trained for wash and go, so it likes to revert and get back curly. There was a time where my hair was heat trained, a time when my hair knew what to do when it was time to be straightened and also what to do when it was time to be curly. But that came with some risks. Didn't want to get heat damage, you know what I'm saying? So these are my results. Oh, oh, that's a whole thumbnail right there. This look good, 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 good. That's crazy. I had so much less hair the last time I did this, but it came out cute. Comment down below, let me know what y'all think. I'm not gonna do this all the time because I want to get heat damage, but it is definitely a look. It's just hair for days, even switch it the other way. Just hell, everywhere. Or just hell, everywhere. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let the curls fall. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye, y'all.